as we know that the colony counter is a basic instrument found in each and every microbiology laboratory. It is a very small instrument but it is important in microbiology. The colony counter is used to count the colonies on agar plates. Colony counter consists of a series of parts including magnifier, marking pen, it is also called as probe, fluorescent lamp, LED display, petri dish holder, reset button, on and off button and auto or manual mode button. Magnifier is nothing but the regular magnification lens. It is located above the petri dish holder on adjusting stand. It can be easily moved in up and down direction, with the help of screws provided. It can also be rotated in, right or left back and forth motion. Next part of the colony counter is, marking pen. The marking pen is also called as probe. The probe is connected to the colony counter with the help of connecting jack. This marking pen helps to count the colonies in auto mode. Let's see how this probe work. The probe is pen-like structure at the upper end of the probe there is a small push and release type switch. Just in front of that switch, there is a refill or cartridge of the pen is placed. When we press the tip of pen it touch to the cartridge and cartridge touch to the switch which automatically make count. When pen is pressure on the surface of plate the beep sound is produced and the count and then displayed on digital display. Next part is a fluorescent lamp. The lamp used in the colony counter is nothing but the ordinary lamp. When we switched on the corner counter the lamp glows. The light is scattered in the box of colony counter but as the box is totally packed and there is only one way to come out is through Petri dish holder. Dish holder contains a glass which transfer the light from the colony counter box to the Petri plate. Colony counter also consists LED display. This display shows the number of count made. Colony counter also consists of Petri dish holder which is used to place the Petri plate in upright position. Most important part of the colony counter is reset button. Reset button is used to reset the count which are previously made. Every time we use only counter, it will produce a count and at the next time when we use the corner counter we should reset the counter with the help of reset button. There is one another most important button that is auto mode or manual mode button. When there is problem in the probe, we can press this button and continue the count in manual mode. In this slide we will see how to use colony counter. As like other instrument colony counter is also used in a special way. There is very simple procedure of using colony counter before starting the corner counting we should check the power supply of colony counter then switch on the colony counter. As soon as you switch on the power supply the elimination start in colony counter. Place Petri dish on Wolf Hugel glass in upright position. Colony counter can be used in both modes, manual mode and auto mode in routine accounting procedure. Adjust the magnifying glass position over the dish. With the help of proverb price on the surface of dish, pen create the mark on plate surface and simultaneously record a count with beep sound. In case if you are using the manual mode simply with the help of regular marker pen mark on the plate and manual praise the manual counting button whenever you touch it praise the manual count button a count will be made and buzzer also makes sound. In this slide, we will learn how to calibrate the colony counter. Calibration is required to verify that instrument is working as it built for. For the calibration, we have to operate the colony counter as previously discussed. Calibration should be performed in both modes manual mode and auto mode. Let's see how to calibrate the colony counter in auto mode. Take two blank paper and write down one to hundred numbers in series. Switch on the colony counter, attach pen probe to colony counter. Now take first paper and press the pen on each number of the first paper. After completion of numbers, check the digital display and note down the reading. 
If you press pen 400 time, then 100 should be displayed on display unit. In this slide, we will learn how to calibrate the colony counter in manual mode. For the calibration, we have to operate the colony counter as previously discussed. Take second blank paper, which have 1 to 100 numbers in series. Switch on the colony counter. Switch O in the manual mode. Now, take regular marker pen and tick mark on each number. When you tick any number, you should press manual button to count number. Press the pen on each number of the paper. After completion of numbers, check the digital display and note down the reading. If you tick mark on 100 numbers, then 100 should be displayed on display unit. Troubleshooting of the colony counter Like other instruments colony counter creates some problems. This video, we discuss about common problems. Sometime, marking on plate is done, but, there is no count on digital display. What is the reason behind this problem? It may be due to problem in switch. It may be due to damaged switch. Or sometimes, the switch is not touched by the refill. In such case what we can do? We can replace the probe. If, the replacement is not possible, then we can continue our work, with the help of manual mode. Other problem is, no power in the colony counter, or flickering of bulb. So, what is the reason behind this problem? This problem, is due to the, power supply. It may be, due to, the loose contact, between the bulb and power source. In this slide, we will learn, how to clean, the colony counter. Colony counter should be cleaned before and after the use. To dust the colony counter with the help of lint-free cloth. 70% isopropyl alcohol solution may be used for the cleaning. Thanks for watching this video I hope you learn more about colony counter.